This is one of my students, Vernon. Uh, he's handing a chilled bottle to Stephanie, who's going to release the yeast from the wine. So she just blew the ice plug out of and the yeast from the neck of the bottle and is handing it over to Dave and Christine Mart. Dave is checking the wine to make sure there aren't any stray yeasts inside the finished wine. And since uh, Stephanie did such a good job of disgorging the wine, we actually have to remove just a couple of milliliters to make sure we have room to add the dosage. The dosage is a special uh, mixture of wine and grape juice concentrate uh, as well as uh, sulfur dioxide uh, to back sweeten the wine. And we are actually adding about 10 milliliters to the bottle to leave a residual sweetness of about 0.8%, uh, which would classify this champagne as brute in style. So I'll double check the, uh, the level of the, the finished wine. Uh, make sure that it's at 750 milliliters. Uh, so Christine's going to pass it off to Joellen, uh, who gives it to April Harding. And she is going to uh, drive the champagne cork uh, into this bottle here. So at first, the champagne cork is crimped, uh, driven about halfway into the bottle. Uh, those levers release the cork from the, the jaws. And Craig here is going to then apply the wire hood uh, to the bottle of champagne to lock that cork in place and hold it there, uh, hopefully under just short of six atmospheres of pressure. He gives that wire hood about seven twists, finishes it off, and Joellen gives it a couple of turns to help mix uh, the dosage uh, into the wine. And that's our finished bottle. Drove up to John's place. Ready? <laughs> All right. Okay, well, here we go. Bottle number one, Kirkwood's Finest. Wow, right on. That was pretty calm. Hopefully I got all the yeast out of there. Oh, <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with that. <clears throat> Got a I think I can.
Yeah.